Been waiting all day. Is this dirty? Been waiting all freaking day. Well, actually, more like I've been waiting all week because I ordered the Canon G7X Mark II because I heard it's the best plug in camera in the world. Let's look. Look what just arrived. <laughs> According to all the vloggers online, your first vlog is always your worst. I've been trying for the last 20 minutes to get this freaking thing set up and finally I did it. So I'm recording on the freaking iPhone 6S, hooray. Let's take a look at my new camera. Plastic carrying case, hooray. This is the charging cable. This is kit cleaner. Camera. Uh -huh. this is kit cleaner, hooray. Memory card reader. And two 16 gigabyte. Pixie byte things, that's cool. We have the memory card holder, also cool. And now, oh, I got the tripod that I wanted. Yeah. That's so fun. This is a Pixie byte package, by the way. Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Oh, mama. Look at that. I've been waiting a long time for this. Like a week. Hello, 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 hello. Flip out LCD screen. The reason why I got this is because I was in Colorado a few weeks ago and my cousin's friends, she has like a couple hundred thousand followers on YouTube. He had this camera while we were up on top of a 14er. He had it with her the whole time and was filming and I was like, what is that? She said it's the best blogging camera out there. So I did a bunch of research. I probably spent like four or five hours. Here this bad boy is. I'm excited to charge her up and try it. Does it even? Oh, look at that. Okay, and then daylight saving. I have to set up all the month, di date, di I'll have to then all the month and date and seven, and then I'll. On? No. Off. Wait. My other date and time is set to home. Now we are going to do a little test. My iPhone 6S is a GoPro Hero 3 Black. It's also shooting at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I change from this to this, and now you're gonna see my GoPro. So, this is me. Now, this is me going to test out my Canon G7X Mark II. What the? And this is what it is going to. Okay. So here's your test compared to the other one. So I think it's pretty good. I'm going to do a lot more. Just a few different aspects of the camera. I want to test the zoom. I want to test the image stabilization, and I want to test the mic quality. Mic quality. I don't really like that the, that the camera doesn't have a mic input, which sucks. Well, we're gonna have to find a workaround. Let's start out just testing the zoom with an ambient light indoors. How's that working? See how long it takes to autofocus. That seems. That's dude. That's kind of fun. This is zoomed in 17 times. Let's see how it does now with ambient light when it changes. With quite a bit of light, there's the window over there. Woo, and here's me. Wow, okay, so me, the subject. Okay, so there I am. Slowly gonna turn around and I'm gonna shift from the lighter environment to the darker environment where the light is behind me. On here, on the screen, it looks pretty cool. With image stabilization. I'm just gonna be walking around. I'm gonna face the camera a little bit upward so you guys don't see how crappy and messy my apartment is. And forth. Yeah, so here, man, here's my cool blah, 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 Then I end usage, and then I zoom in. How long does it take, man? How long are you gonna take to zoom in on, on my... Let's say I'm like actually doing something kind of active. Okay, so I'm kind of like jumping up and down. Does it maintain focus? Oh, it's taking a while. Yeah? Hey, come on, bro, focus. I'm gonna do aggressive movement, like, you know, chasing something or I'm walking. This is me moving fast. How's that? So, I wanna see how it does outside. So, this is outside now. I'm going to be in an extremely sunny area now. Just walking into the shade. As I continue to do more and more vlogs, be able to try it out in more adverse environments. I'm really excited to shoot at night. I've heard that it has pretty good quality, even shooting in dim light, so we'll see. A workaround for the problem with holding the mic, you can just get a pad of these little bumpy things from Michaels, take off one, and then you can set it on top of the camera right in front of the microphone. So that's gonna prevent you from accidentally putting your finger over the mic when you're trying to shoot something.